Are your lungs actually safe in the workshop? Let's rank your masks. First up, the cloth mask and gaiters. Although they can be extremely comfortable, they essentially offer zero protection against ultrafine sawdust. As a reminder, the most dangerous particles are ultrafine particles with diameters generally smaller than 2.5 microns. These are small enough to pass through the lung tissue and enter the bloodstream and can affect the lungs and heart, which can cause serious health issues. These types of particles will go right through a gaiter. As you can see, you can even see right through them. You should never rely on these in your workshop. The only time you'll need a gaiter is if you're robbing a bank. Your minimum go-to is the N95 mask. This creates a proper tight seal for reliable dust protection. This will filter at least 95% of particles that are 0.3 microns or larger in size, but if you have facial hair like myself, it will absolutely break the seal every time. Now, N95s aren't known for being the most comfortable masks in the world to wear, so here's what I use in my shop. This is a base camp comfort mask. While it's not officially certified, the filter material is known to provide N95 similar protection. This makes it a comfortable alternative to an N95 mask. It's reusable and you can just buy new inserts to switch out after continued use. If you're cutting in a material like MDF, you'll want to upgrade to a P100 respirator. It provides a professional grade seal and filters even more particles. A P100 respirator can filter at least 99.97% of all particles 0.3 microns or larger in size. You can also get these in a full face mask like I have here. For the most part, when it comes to dust alone, a P100 mask is essentially the best protection for your home workshop. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Subscribe for more safety tips.